Hey guys, it's Omrecker, and I am playing a successfully kickstarted game, and it's a remake of a remake of a classic adventure title. This is Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded, and it has the involvement of Al Lau. He was the original creator of this series when he was at Sierra. And this is an alpha build, so keep that in mind before I jump in. What you're seeing here is not final uh, content. So you may see some bugs, you may see some animation issues, whatever else. This does not reflect the final quality of the game. Again, you got to keep that in mind. Uh, but this is actually a game that's been in development uh, since the Kickstarter ended. And that was back in May 2012. And it's got the guys at Enfusion behind it. They're a New Jersey-based studio. Prior to that, when the Kickstarter was going on, it was supposed to be a studio called Adventure Mob, uh, but they ended up, for whatever reason, uh, getting replaced by Enfusion. And it is going to be published by Replay Games, and that's a publisher that has been doing a lot in the adventure scene. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in, and I'll try to talk about the game a little bit. It says your name is Larry. Larry Laffer, that's the original character, going all the way back to the original. Says you've arrived in beautiful lost wages without luggage, without a hotel reservation, and without a clue. And it says the airline lost your luggage, you forgot to get a hotel reservation, and you've never had a clue. It says you exit the cab, the hot, dry air of lost wages hits you in the face like a hard slap. A feeling not wholly <laughs> unfamiliar to you. After your cab ride, you may be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the laser shoot. Or leisure suit. <laughs> You're in town to find true love, and if you happen to get lucky along the way, that's okay. After all, you're nearly 40. And still a vert. Nope. Still untouched by human hands. Yep. Look out, ladies. I'm finding love tonight. Okay, so this is uh, definitely bringing back some memories to the original game. And uh, this is Lefty's Bar. It looks like they do have the icon system that Sierra made so popular back in the day, where you can right-click. Oh, you can even go to the top of the screen. The old adventure games used to let you do that too. But you can uh, either right-click or go up here to select what you want. So let's go ahead and do the eyeballs. Lefties where people drink liberally. So you can, you can start looking at uh, just about everything in the scene. Lefty's hotel charges by the hour, but the average day is under 10 minutes. Okay, well, shady stuff is uh, going on here. And, uh, I guess let's start walking around. I seem to recall that walking in the street was a bad idea. No? Let's see. So we can't still walk to the alleyway? What is that? Okay. So you can also use the hand to try to interact with things. You can see that it says that you roamed around in the, in the dumpster, but you don't see anything valuable aside from some cocktail shrimp that might still be edible. No thanks. Poke through the garbage cans looking for anything that could help you get the girls. Look, it's a can of the same breath spray I use, and it's full. Yeah, why would anybody throw it? Take the full one, because hey, free. So that means I got something in my inventory. Oh wow, look at this. So I've got $94. So it does have a classic inventory. I've got breath spray. Bungie A, Bungie B. So, I don't know what these are. Let's go ahead and use the arrow. Bungie combo. Bungie combo all. Huh. I, I honestly don't know... Wait, wait, wait. It just said something about bungeeing. You know, you can't make a grappling hook in this game. You're thinking of every other adventure game ever made. I wonder why it gives you bungee cord. That's so weird. Alright, well, let's go ahead and go in the bar. 
And I mean, so far it's looking really good. Oh, that's weird. So this must be a placeholder animation for him hailing his taxi. Although, I shouldn't do that now. This is obviously a placeholder taxi cab. Let's go ahead and talk to him. See what happens when we try... Oh, okay, he left. So again, guys, this is Alpha, so some of the stuff that you're seeing... Uh... Man, I, you know, I don't remember all the solutions, but yeah, let's go ahead and go into the bar. And this looks like the founder of Sierra. What is his name? Ken Williams, right? Yeah, Roberta Williams was his wife. I'm pretty sure this is Ken Williams. Let's take a look. It looks like someone from your distant past. You just can't put your finger on him. Good thing, too. <laughs> All right, so we're in the bar. Uh, I'm seeing more people than I seem to recall in the previous games. But I think there was a reward in the Kickstarter that you could become some of these characters. Let's look at this orange dude here. Francois De Dequit? Dequit? One of Lefty's big investors, and being from Europe, he's extremely cool. Wow, you're cool. I know, right? It's almost too cool. How cool am I? Nesse pa? Oh, they speak Klingon too. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so you can see that there is still humor in this game. Which is a good thing. Uh, it looks like they've added to it a bit. I do not recall this conversation tree. Just hoping some of your cool would rub off on me. So, you can interact with pretty much everything. This is definitely a classic adventure game still. And let's see, can I interact with any of this stuff? Used to be able to use the jukebox. You slip a buck into the ju jukebox and search for a suitably sleazy selection. Air 4 AG string. I can, can you? Okay, well, um, let's see if any of these work. I'm not hearing a different song, so I'm guessing that the... Jukebox is not properly hooked up yet. At least on the game side. Let's see here. Um, well, we've got... Well, I guess it's not working at the moment. But this is a little gambling machine. We'll go ahead and exit. I'd imagine you use the legs. Yep. Is there a way to plug this in? I don't see a plug. Now, let's see. I mean, uh, what else can you look at? Moan a little louder. Oh, I remember this door too. Let's see if I can uh, knock on it. What's the password? Uh, swordfish? Nope. Alright, well I can't play darts, but I can go into the back room. I recall doing this. So far, it's looking like they made really great progress on this game. Dimly lit hallway old peeling posters give the cockroaches something to fantasize about. Clutter fills the room in a filthy drunk wearing clothes suits, or filthy clothes, I don't know where I got suits from, sits on the, fl the filthy floor, leaning his filthy back against the filthy wall. Oh man, um... You stick your tongue through the grill and taste the fan blades. They taste like, I can't believe it's not motor oil. I forgot about that, you've got a tongue symbol as well. Let's see if I can lick this guy. You're real back at the putrid stench of the offensive bum who can probably hear every word we're saying about him. Oh my god. Um, I, I really missed... Hello and his games. I'm not drinking that. Oh, he wants booze. I totally forgot about that. Um, so I don't think there's much to do here. This fan is old, broken, and pathetic. This game has a lot of fans like that. Oh man. This and the fans really. 
No, that's all right. All right, well, let's go into the bathroom. I recall that there was a purpose to being back here. Uh, I think you can use a toilet. Yep. Flutter the magazine of nude skydiving. And settle in to sit and think. Oh, man. Don't do it. Oh, no. This is, I think, a death sequence, and it's not plugged in yet. Remember, this is Alpha. A flush beats everything. Sometimes good manners are a bad idea. Damn it. Wait, okay. I didn't die? Alright, so they don't have the death plugged in yet. I do see a ring, though. Some woman removed her diamond ring to wash her hands and forgot to take it with her. Score! Got it. Now, is there anything else to do here? All right, let's uh, let's go back to the bar. I don't want to ruin everything. <laughs> Did something die in there? You know, maybe I need to use my breath spray. Okay. Now, let's talk to him. So tell me, how are you doing? Oh, thanks for asking, buddy. I'd be just great if I... What? If only my impedigo would clear up? Alright, so what does he want? Have you thought about going to a doctor? And then you get sick again and you start... Uh, I thought I... I could have sworn. <laughs> A little drink would be nice. So he wants some more alcohol. Alright, let's go get him some booze. Actually, let's see if he wants a breath spray. Nope. Um, oh, I see a rose. Can I take this? All right, so I've got a rose and go ahead and walk out of here, get back to the bar. We got to find some booze for this guy. How do I exit? Oh. Uh oh. He oh, I think he said I had toilet paper attached to my feet. Well, let's try talking to this you female here. You've been running through my mind all day. I know, but you keep following me anyway. <laughs> They've got placeholder voice at work. I forgot to mention that uh, when they rolled out this bill to Kickstarters, they had mentioned that the voice work wasn't all in. So that's why you're seeing text more than anything else, but... They've got this female voiced by a guy. Sorry if this sounds a little squirrely, baby. But I like to store you in my cheek pouches for a snowy day. <laughs> really? I like to crack your skull like a nut and bury your brains in the park. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh my god. We're really starting to make a connection. I wish it was long distance. You must be tired. You've been running through my mind all day. And no, but you keep following me anyway. <laughs> Sorry if this sounds a little strange. Alright. Really? Alrighty then. We're really starting to make a... I wish it was long distance. All right, uh, let's go ahead and have a seat at the bar. All right, let's talk to the bartender, see if we can get some booze. What'll it be? Um, oh crap, I think, what does he want? Does he want whiskey? All right, so this is obviously placeholder animation. This is really cool though. I mean, you guys get to see how game development sometimes works, where not everything is plugged in. Okay. So I've got the shot of whiskey. Let's go back and see if this drunk would enjoy it.
Liquor in the front, poker in the rear. Nice. I think that was in the original game as well. Alright, um... He is going to want some alcohol, so let's give him some alcohol. Look at this. All that placeholder stuff, that's really cool. His only pos- oh, so he's gonna give me his possession. What is it? To be something good? A coaster? Is that what they gave you in the original game? Yeah, a lefty's coaster. Alright, um, so we got something from him. Let's see. We give her a rose. That won't do anything to help you with this lady, Lay. Better move on to a more fertile ground. My fertility is none of your business. <laughs> oh my god. I can't get over the fact that they've got that voice by a guy. That won't do anything to help you with this lady. My fertility is none Alright. Well, I'm not going to accomplish anything there. I think I will call a taxi. Let's see if we can go somewhere else in this build. How do I exit? There we go. Alright, we're gonna call a taxi. Let's go ahead and get in the door. Jesus is coming, look busy. I'll give you love, peace, and quiet. <laughs> Make love not in my cab. <laughs> Richard Nixon, 72. Oh my god. Okay, so, um, it looks like they've got some locations here. Caesar's Phallus. Is this a- is this really gonna be a place to gamble? Last sign for 12 miles. Always low overhang, always. Oh man, 18 bucks! Go ahead and pay him. Okay. Well, it looks like they've designed this as well. Geez, that's a evil looking girl. Look at that tail. Alright, um... Well, that's a hail. I guess let's go into the casino here. So again, more placeholder stuff. Can I use one of these to try to get money? Nope. Damn it. I cannot recall if it was possible to use these machines to gamble before. Oh, and I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Because Jamaican me crazy. Come on. <laughs> Your attempt to pick me up is real pathetic. It makes me think you don't have a Bahrain in your head. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna move on. Again, I don't want to ruin everything. Obviously, these jokes are kind of a one shot thing. Once you see them, you've seen them. And this game isn't even out yet. I guess I can't go that way. Um... Let me try one of these machines here. Nope. I can't seem to do anything. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What if I put my wallet... Nope. Oh well. Let's go ahead and exit and we'll try to look at one other location, but I should probably wrap this up soon. Looks like when you want to leave a location, it takes a little bit. There we go. 
And actually, wait, can I walk further down? Looks like I can. Oh, the wedding chapel. I forgot about that. Alright, can I walk any further? Sense of foreboding washes over your heart when your eyes slowly examine this dark alley that seems to be just outside every public area in Lost Wages. Uh oh! Shit. Didn't your mother ever warn you about going in dark alleys? Um... I don't know what that was. Oh, that must be when... Or that must be the screen that represents you coming back to life. So I'm gonna try to walk a little bit further. I recall that you could walk... Oh, what? Shit. Wait, I'm in front of Lefty's bar. I swear there's a convenience store that you can go to. Oh! Crap. Well, I died again. Gandalf for president? Give... Given the dog a bone? Alright, um... Let's go ahead and call a cab. Let, let's try to get to the convenience store. I'm trying to recall how to, um... Actually, wait. Studio 69. I don't recall Studio 69. Come and go. This must be the... Yield to oncoming mushroom clouds? This must be the convenience store I need to get to. I could have sworn that in the original game you could actually walk to it. Alright, and what do I do when I run out of money? I'm down to 70. Alright, um, let's go into the convenience store here. Please keep your hands where I can see them. Peter Parka condoms sold here. Okay. Cano Chum. You take Biggins, the most interesting magazine of the bunch. I think the the game music is actually freaking out right now. Alright. Uh Angry Broads. Oh, weird! Look at this! Oh, I can't play! This is Angry Broads, though. <laughs> they got these women with, like, pig faces on. That's a little Easter egg. It would be fun if you could actually play that in the retail game. Man, the music is freaking out! Let's see, do I need wine? What else can I grab? Alright, let's talk to him. Oh, and there's also a zipper icon. You've never been able to pee when you know you're on camera. Your meat is not halal? Man, look at all the cameras up top, I just noticed that. Oh my god, the music is freaking out. I swear I'm supposed to buy something from him. Oh, he sells the uh, condoms. They just spent 30 bucks. I don't remember how to buy the condom though. Um... Oh, this must be it.
Um, we have all manners of lovers for your stupping pleasure? Alright, uh, I don't remember. I guess let's do something wacky. We'll go with aluminum foil. What length? Vienna sausage? What? Small, small, small Vienna. What girth? Spaghetti? Or sp spaghettini? Let's do spaghettini. Uh... Ribbed. <laughs> what? Fresh aluminum? Oh my god, man, that, that music. It's, it's like stacked upon itself probably three, four times. Um, Cincinnati fire hose. What sort of lubrication? Um, extra picante. What sort of scent? Old library. Oh, I remember this. All right. Well, they obviously limited it a bit. But now I've got the wine, the magazine, and a condom. We'll walk out of here. Let's see what's further down here. Oh, there's a phone! I remember you can use the phone to dial up somebody too. And there's a club. The bouncer didn't stop me. There's somebody right here. What do you mean to whom am I trying to speak? All right, you know what guys uh, with with the music bug that's happening right now I Think I'm going to uh, wrap up this video here But I will be keeping an eye on the development of this game. I did kickstart it and um, So far I I'm really surprised with the Quality. I mean, yeah, there are some bugs. There's placeholder stuff, but this is a very early build. It's the alpha, and uh, it's it's definitely coming along quite well. And you know, it, it's been so long since I played the first game that um, I feel like this is going to be a pretty new experience to me. And I think that for new players, uh, this will be quite fun on the adventure side. I mean, adventure games are kind of uh, you know coming back. I, I, you just saw The Walking Dead receive the Game of the Year award. I think it was what with uh, Spike. And um, yeah, I mean, they're making a big comeback, so this is a game you want to watch. Um, again, it's Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded. It is a remake of the original, uh, well actually the original remake. The original game came out in 87 and it was a text-based adventure game. Then they remade it with this icon system with like these symbols here that you're seeing. And that was back in 91, so um, this is a remake of that 91 version essentially, plus with added content, they are adding more to it. Uh, but that's about it guys, if you want to see more Leisure Suit Larry down the road, let me know. And uh, you know, be sure to, again, keep an eye on this one if you like adventure games. Well, that's it. As always guys, please be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel, I always appreciate when you guys do that. And stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.